Hi Goku, what's up? Where's your mom? Hi Token, mom's in a meeting. See this beautiful design on the computer here. Computers really are very interesting machines. True Goku, so do you remember all the parts of a computer? Mm -mm. I think yes. Mm, I can see you don't. Let's recall the parts of the computer then. Okay, Joggle. A computer essentially is made up of four main parts. These are the monitor, the CPU cabinet, the keyboard and the mouse. The four parts are connected through wires to make them work. This here is the the monitor! Quite right, Google. A monitor is also called a visual display unit or a VDU. It can display words, pictures and movies. Now this is the, uh, the CPU cabinet. It contains the CPU and the CPU stands for the central processing unit. Aha! I see you have not forgotten everything. Yes, CPU stands for the Central Processing Unit. The CPU is the brain of a computer. It controls all the other parts of a computer. And Google, this here is the keyboard. Yes, Google, I know. A keyboard has many buttons called keys. Some of them are the alphabet keys, the number keys, the space bar and the enter key. These keys are used to type numbers, letters and other symbols. Whatever you type on the keyboard can be seen on the monitor. Correct. Let us understand the mouse now. Sure, Toggle. A mouse is a pointing device, usually joined by a cable to a computer. It helps us point at things on the monitor. The mouse is also used to click and drag or move things on the monitor. It can help us draw pictures too. Do you know what this pad below the mouse is for, Goggle? Mm, not ugly. This pad is called a mouse pad. A mouse can be handled better when kept on a mouse pad as it moves well on a smooth surface. However, the mouse we get nowadays can also be used without a mouse pad. It is called an optical mouse. It has a light source at the bottom to sense movement of the mouse. Cool! Toggle, what are these other devices attached to this computer? Google, these devices help a computer to do different things. Want to know more about them? Sure! Google, this is a printer. A printer is used to take a copy, usually on a sheet of paper, of the information stored in your computer. This copy on paper is called a printout. Yes, I have seen that taking printouts from a computer. A printout is also called a hard copy. Toggle, what are these things on the table? This here is a microphone. By these are speakers. When the microphone and the speakers are attached to a computer, they form the sound system of the computer. What does a microphone do? By speaking into a microphone, you can record your voice. In fact, a microphone can be used to record different types of sounds and not only your voice. The speakers help us to listen to these recorded sounds as also to music. Wow! Know what these are? Mm, no! These are called headphones. Headphones can be used when we want to listen to recorded sound or music without disturbing others. Cool, Toggle! Goggle, do you know computer parts are also known as computer devices? They are of two types. Is that so, Toggle? Yes, Goggle. 
they may be either input devices or output devices. Input devices are used to enter data into the computer while output devices are used to show output. Okay, Toggle, this means parts like the keyboard and the mouse are input devices while the monitor is an output device. Isn't that so? Absolutely right, Goggle. That was smart. A microphone is also an example of an input device. On the other hand, printers, speakers and headphones are output devices. Okay, Toggle. What's that device under the table? Oh, that is the UPS. A UPS keeps the computer working for some time even after the electricity goes off. Any guesses what it stands for? No idea, Toggle. UPS stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. Got that, Toggle. I have heard my teacher talk about the hard disk. What are they? A hard disk is found inside the CPU cabinet. It is used to store information and comes with your computer. You cannot see it unless you open the CPU cabinet. But whenever you save a file on your computer, it is saved on your hard disk. Wow! Now see here, Google. These are also used to store information. These are floppy disks of floppies. These are CD-ROMs and these are DVD-ROMs. The difference between them and the hard disk is that you can easily carry these around with you. A CD-ROM can store much more information than a floppy disk. Floppies are hardly in use now, Goggle. Toggle, I see that the CD and the DVD look the same. So how are they different? Yes, they do look similar, but they have different labels and a DVD-ROM stores much more information than a CD-ROM. Where do we put these disks in the computer? You put a floppy disk inside a floppy disk drive while a DVD-ROM is placed inside a DVD-ROM drive. A CD-ROM can run both inside a CD-ROM drive as well as a DVD-ROM drive. Got it, Toggle? Goggle, these days we also have USB to store information. They are the smallest, very easy to carry and can store much more data than a CD or a DVD. Wow! Okay, so that was what mom was searching for the other day. It is put inside a USB port usually found on the CPU cabinet. Do you know the other name for a USB goggle? Uh, mm, no. A flash drive. Right, that's all for today, goggle. I have to meet my friends. Bye and thanks, goggle. I needed the revision.